breakdown here, we got the Jacksonville Jaguars sitting currently sitting at 0-3, traveling to Houston to take on the Texans, who are sitting at 2-1. Right now, the Houston Texans are at a 61% chance of winning this game. Mark, give me a reason why the Jacksonville Jaguars can go to NRG Stadium this weekend and upset the division rival Houston Texans. Well, honestly, I don't think they're going to upset them, but here these might be some ways that they can do it. Key number one, they got to slow down C.J. Stroud. That guy is phenomenal since he's been a rookie. Got to slow that guy down. Two, their pass defense needs to be better. Josh Allen fucking cooked them for four touchdowns, 200, 263 yards. That's got to be better. And last, they got to protect Trevor Lawrence. That guy is getting sacked so much. Last week, there was four sacks and 28 attempts. Protect the guy. Let him have some time to throw. Protection is key. Protection is, is key, especially for that ter- stereotypical pro quarterback in Trevor Lawrence. But key number one for the Houston Texans, I think, this week is Joe Mixon. I think the Houston Texans go as far as Joe Mixon takes takes them. I think if he strings together a couple few good games here, they could roll off five, six, seven, eight wins in a row. I think Joe Mixon is key number one. Key number two is that defense. That defense added a lot of pieces this offseason. Alshar Razier, they added Daniel Hunter, and, and along with the other pieces as well. And that front four with Will, with like Will, Will Anderson and Mario Edwards is really the key factor for the Houston Texans this game. Get some pressure on Trevor Lawrence and stop Travis Etienne basically before he ever gets started. Next up is the kicking game. I want to see them kick the ball out of the, out, of, out of the end zone each and every time. The Houston Texans have given up the most yardage on kickoff returns so far this season. So just kick the ball out of the end zone. Do not give the Jacksonville Jag- Jag- Jaguars any opportunity to have good field position. So with that being said, Mark, Houston Texans do have a 61% chance of winning this, this, this game. Jacksonville Jaguars are 0-3. Who do you got winning this game and why? Even though I had the spiel for Jacksonville, I think Houston's going to win. Um, I just think Jacksonville's playing really terrible right now. And I think uh, out of all the coaches on the hot seat, I think Doug Peterson probably be the, the hottest. Yeah, and uh, I believe it was Jamison brought up that if the Bengals start 0-4 this season, they they should fire Zach Thomas. I think if the Jacksonville Jaguars start 0-4, Doug Peterson should should be fired before he gets back to Jacksonville, Florida the following day. I am taking the Houston Texans in this game. I do think the Houston Texans are better than the Jacksonville Jaguars, but I do think the Houston Texans will eventually take steps back this season. They're not taking steps back versus the Jacksonville Jaguars, un- unfortunately. This, the Jaguars is a bad team right now. I don't know. I can't put my finger on it. Maybe they need, maybe they need to start Mac, Mac, Mac Jones. Just... Put Mac Jones in there. What's the worst thing that that can happen? I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Remember, he's a generational quarterback. You can't take out Trevor Lawrence. You can't well, do that. He's also getting paid with <laughs> $250 million too, a, a lock as well. I mean, technically, it would be dumb to stay him. Let, 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 let's just be honest. Jameson says the Bengals haven't done shit since the Super Bowl appearance. They haven't. Truth. They haven't. Uh, Carson says Texans win unless he, Texans win unless Houston's team all gets food poisoning. <laughs> Wouldn't be, uh, have you ate in, ate in, in the Houston Carson? They got some bad food in, food in, in, in Houston. Uh, Kevin says Texans could start, sits, could sit all their starters and still win. Wow. Insult to injury there. Sheesh. Jameson says Jaguars need to fire their head coach and hire Bill Belichick. Belichick's not going to Jacksonville. Come on. I I don't think Belichick wants to coach anymore, to be honest. I don't know. He keeps saying that. I think he just wants to coach for that record, dude. You know, go in, finish Shula's record, and then bounce out. What, he needs 10 wins or 11 wins or something? Something like that, yeah. I don't – You're you'd have to be in Jacksonville for six years to get, to get 11 wins. <laughs> so, I, I don't know. Um, Jameson said the Texans win 27-10. to 10. And Derek says he's Jags somehow going to Houston and upset them. I mean, in the defense, Derek, this is a divisional game. They do know each other well. And the Jaguars historically do win in, in, 
Houston. The last five years, they have gone in there and they have beat Houston. Um, so Zach Taylor and Doug and, and Doug Pedersen should both be fired. Bill Belichick should be hired by one of them. He needs 17 wins to break the record, says Jameson. 17, okay. That's that's still a lot, let's just be honest. That is. But Jaguars mm-hmm. or Texans, guys, who do you guys got? Let us know, let us know, let us know. Next 